Hello everybody and welcome to a video that may or may not be on YouTube. It really kind of just depends on how long it takes us until we get an announcement article on this thing. Because my YouTube schedule is actually currently like pretty jam-packed until September. Um, so we'll probably see something before then so I don't know if this is actually going to go live unless it's a really good video and then I'm going to rush it up. So hi YouTube if it is. But someone requested, there's been a lot of theorizing about what these investigators can be, what their abilities can be, what their like deck building can be. And we're gonna um, throw some some like crap at the at the wall and see what sticks, right? Where this is all just like trying to guess um, trying to guess and see it all come together and see what is what. So we got a, a higher res version of the of the box art which showed that that person that we thought was a person was actually a person. Wow, they did it. Waiting for them to drop an article when you're three quarters of the way through this? Honestly, I'll freaking take it. I'd love to do that for this. All right. Okay, so we have four old investigators. The last four old investigators that still exist in the Arkham Files that we are actually getting printed so after this expansion everyone else is going to be new i figured what we would also do is we'd also kind of look at maybe we could see what these other investigators could do to kind of like theorize off this as well um and it's going to be that kind of thing tony two months at the golden table thank you for your support gloria is luckily the easiest one so we know that she is a mystic main that's easy we know that she's a mystic main, and we know that she is secondary guardian seeker rogue. That is, like, easy. You don't need to think about this. Uh, have it be known that there is going to be a lot of talking in this video about things, and there might be an order. That I know there's been some stuff um, that we are going to be talking about that I'm going to that I'm going to be talking about later in the video that you already know if you're watching this. Uh, and if I ignore when you say certain things, it's not because I'm ignoring that or I don't know. It's because I'm trying to pace this video out in a way that is also interesting for me to discuss these things. Um, so, Gloria. We also have, uh, she's going to have three copies of both her signatures and her weaknesses. Travis once thought <clears throat> that Gloria was going to get the um, the Marie treatment where it's it's one of those things where she's going to exist in the box with absolutely no support to her ability. Um, and honestly, like Travis said, he hoped that would happen for... Um, um, hope that that would happen for uh gloria because gloria is um a strong like very strong investigator and she doesn't need any more support she kind of has all the tools um all the tools she needs to kind of just be a very strong investigator so like like she might get like tiny pieces of something but i think the reality is is that the hope is that gloria doesn't get any stronger right because she is already plenty strong. So luckily with Gloria, we have like this kind of thing. The alternative, like we know what she is. Uh, the alternative is that her signatures, as I theory theorized in the um, in the past, um, is that she her signatures are like so tough, right? Like her signatures are really bad. But then, like, it's one of those things where you're kind of just forced to just, like, play the other version of her. Play with her replacements, right? Um, I imagine her Prophecy of the End will do something when she, if she sees it when she's looking at cards. That is, I think, like, the easiest thing to kind of, like, guess based on this. Um, Gloria is very powerful. I don't think she needs to get more powerful. I do agree that she gets different gets support like Norman. We're going to enable a different archetype for her. However... Um, unlike Norman, her ability doesn't actually, is like an, it doesn't actually, it's not an open ability, 
right? Her ability is not open. Her ability is just mythos manipulation. That is an entirely closed archetype that is unlike Norman's ability, which is just value, right? It's very easy to... <clears throat> It's very easy to build archetypes for investigators that are open and not put in a box. There's a reason why, for example, Diana Stanley hasn't really grown in strength, but other investigators with more open abilities have grown in strength, right? Um, it's, it's one of those things that uh, I think for Gloria, um, she's kind of just like an open and closed book in terms of her power level. And I can't see her getting any weaker unless her signatures are really bad, right? Um, I do think that her ability, her, her prophecy of the end needs to actually like do something when you look at it. I feel like it needs to. It fits kind of the prophecy thing. The three copies of psychic sensitivity too. I'm very curious. I'm very curious to see what Gloria has. However, with all that said, I do think Gloria is going to be the odd man out in this box. That is my first prediction i think that she is just extra and there's a reason for this that i'm gonna get to later again people have already said it in chat i know about it i'm ignoring it for right now because this video needs to have a very particular pace to it in order for i think this this whole theory crafting thing to actually work right um okay let's talk about the next elephant in the room which is george barnaby so george barnaby a lot of people online theorize that our good friend George Barnaby is going to be our seeker rogue. And I think there's two reasons for that, and I think both of those reasons are very fair. But I also don't know if they're actually like solid reasons or if they're just like, you know, like. Uh, evidence-based theory crafting one is damning testimony is a rogue card that can go to um that is like this and also blackmail which he is in the art for so this is very interesting this is something that's really interesting okay this blackmail card is art from call of cthulhu however the original blackmail art this guy who's crying is black haired and no beard so they actually added white hair and a beard to this card which vag vaguely fits with george barnaby um however i i think it's it's kind of a reach this guy looks like a well-built 40 year old and not like this old ass man on a boat that's just my like looking at the art i think it's a neat idea but i think it's implying pretty heavily that he is um that this uh that george barnaby is going to have some sort of rogue in him some sort of beast in him is going to be um our good friend george barnaby in the rogue class i think that is this is pretty solid evidence to support that right um so it, it's one of those things that i think that this is um a good reason for why he's at least rogue right however people think he's seeker and i think the main reason for that is that he's an old white dude and if there's one thing we know about seekers is that they love their old white dudes could you imagine a world where this is your dream team mono seekers all just white dudes with facial hair that are old as hell so that's why I think ultimately why um, these are the two reasons um, why people think George is Seeker. Is there a re I'm asking chat. This is like an open video as well. Do we think, is there another reason why the community generally thinks George is going to be Seeker Rogue on the Seeker side? I think the Rogue side makes sense. Um... um do we think that like was there a reason beyond for seeker i think just for the lawyer flavor okay and i actually think like a lawyer flavor to me feels more like what we've heard in guardian to be honest right it feels more like a guardian however once again i'm still planting the seeds for the future right i'm still planting some seeds for the future 
um, that we're gonna get to. We're gonna get to, I, I, I'm gonna take a big swing with this, with this box, okay? I'm taking a big, this video is all com culminating into a clickbait prediction um, that I think is gonna be my big swing. I, I could be wrong, I could be entirely fucking wrong. But we're building to something, folks, okay? So right now, let's just get rid of these old white men. I'm tired of looking at them. Uh, give me... This is like one of the prevailing opinions. So we're just going to put these here. So they're thinking like Seeker main class, Rogue off class. However, to counter this point, I do think it would be strange if um, George couldn't take damning evidence, damning testimony to full. Yeah. All right. Let's go to Michael McGlenn next. Michael McGlenn's very exciting. Michael McGlenn uh, is our uh, gangster-based investigator. And for the longest time, I thought his ability was just going to be, uh, and his deck building was just going to be uh, Akachi, right? Um, but for guns. <laughs> he can play gun cards. Like, he can play uh, anything with ammo on them. And all of his stuff enters with one more ammo. That's what I just like in my when I was like theory crafting in my head. That would be um, that would be my Michael McGlenn build, right? Um, it's it's just the way that I think that um, he was because it's 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 simple, it's open. It was just like the easiest thing to do, Akachi, but with guns. Um, a lot of people think that he was mystic and a lot of people think that he was guardian the problem is is that he can't be a 5-2 because they've not repeated a deck building like that they've repeated trait based deck building which i kind of have a problem with it's actually like less open to repeat that than it is to repeat colors uh in my opinion um but there's now a lot of talk about which one is his main class? <laughs> and we don't know yet, but wait, wait, wait. Just you wait. Just you wait, everybody. I'm excited to get into the the, the deep part of this. But uh, Michael McGlenn, I think that there's a good reason for him to be rogue main, right? Um, is that it's... He's a mobster. He's a, he's a goon, right? Like, he's going to be shooting guns. He's got his Tommy gun in the art, right? Um, the rogue one makes sense. Rogue is also now, um, kind of like the firearm class, right? And it, it's one of those things that it's kind of what they do. But at the same time, there's a lot of people out there who want, um, who want, uh, the... Who want the guardians to get back into guns which i think is um very fair because i think like that is that was part of the earlier guardian identity and i love to see more of that so i think that's why i lean more towards michael uh, mcglenn to be um man i'll just say right now people hate when we call will you uh, will william yorick will people are gonna hate when we call michael mcglenn mike they're gonna hate that because we're this guy, he's Mikey Boy. He's gonna have, he's gonna have very Italian names, and it's gonna be a great time. Yeah, Mikey G, Mikey McG, Mikey Gun stuff. You know, I like calling Yorick Bill instead. That's a great name too. Like, I don't know why people get all up in arms about that, but the G's for gangster. Wow, Mikey G, I love it. Um, I'm not too sure, but I, I think that like, all right. I think it's time we get here because Agatha's the next one, right? Where she fear, feels kind of seeker and kind of mystic, right? She is kind of like both of these, but we already have them. And I think it's time that we make the prediction that Orius Tezu has already said. There was something that Duke posted. And it was that, and would you believe me if I said there were three mystic investigators? Okay. This um this got me this got me thinking, right? This is this is where I've kind of like been for the last little bit. Um I once said is there going to be um I was like I wonder what a dual 
uh, like a multi-class, like Scroll of Secrets, for example. Actually, yeah, let's go. What a multi-class investigator would look at like, right? And then I realized, wait a minute, investigators kind of already are multi-class, right? But then like, this could be, this could just be like a joke, right? Like this could just be Duke, um, you know, stirring the pot, having a little bit of fun with it. Um, and like, you know, just being a little bit silly, right? Like that is entirely possible, but that is the case. But I think that it is entirely likely that the investigators in this box are multi-class. And the reason for that is because I think that there are so many of these that are kind of like these investigators could fit anywhere. Um, they can kind of just kind of like fit into like multiple places, right? Same even with these guys. Um, let's like avoid the slightly problematic thing where everyone sees these two, um, uh, the, the people of color investigators and just assume that they're survivors. <laughs> like, let's just, or like mystics. Like we can like, let's just like go past that. But a lot of people are like, this kind of looks like, you know, like a, like a survivor, this guy could be like a survivor rogue. Like there's all this kind of stuff to it, right? Um, <clears throat> so that's what got me like thinking that like there's just so much cross contamination in terms of the classes that people are theorizing these investigators can fit in. And I do think that ultimately, yes, these investigators could fit in multiple classes. And it would also potentially allow for there to be three mystic investigators because Dukes, if this is true, which we are for the, the, fate, like the good nature take of this video, assuming that this is like the truth, we're just assuming that just, it could not be, and all of this could be wrong, but we are shooting our shot here to follow this, that three mystic investigators, um, <clears throat> Three mystic investigators, to me, implies on the front side. Because, like, Daisy, while she has mixed access to mystic class, we don't consider her to be a mystic investigator. So there being three implies that Gloria, following my original thought, is the odd one out with uh, just, she's just here. But then every other investigator in this box is a multi-class investigator and Gloria is just hanging out. That could be true. It could be a little bit strange, but we also haven't seen a consistent deck building cycle since Edge of the Earth, right? Uh, and then this also, I think it's a new design team. They might be doing something a little bit funky with it. And I think that this could be really cool. So with that in mind, can we cook up three, uh, three mystic investigators in a way that actually makes sense because if we can't this theory could be shot right but if, if this is true two of these other investigators are mystics right george has a wizard beard that would be freaking crazy right so i think it's pretty easy let's just delete all this that I think that this is true. I th so it, how it's gonna work is that every one of these investigators, if it works, there's gonna be two of each class. The reason why there's a third mystic is that Gloria, this is like trying to solve a cipher, you know? Um, or it's like trying to solve like a Jim Carrey number 23 thing and we're finding patterns that don't actually exist, right? So in theory, all of these investigators will have two classes. Like there, there'll be like two, um, two seekers, two mystics, two rogues, two guardians, two survivors. Is there a way we could potentially, without reaching too far, make that make sense? You're the guy with the two. Yeah, I'm Charlie Day going like, it's a conspiracy. But you know, it's fun. And people requested this video. So uh, I think it's this is the best place to do it. Okay. So let's assume that we got like this. Lucas, nine months at the golden table. Thank you for your support and your Twitch Prime subscription. All right. Hmm. 
All right. Well, we we the, we've cracked it. There's nothing. The, the theory's wrong. George has Seeker Rogue. I don't think George. I don't think George is. I don't know if George is Seeker Rogue. I think he might be Guardian Rogue. I I, I feel like that resonates more. I don't think we know that he's Seeker Rogue. Lord Blink. Thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you so much. Whoa, is that a freaking hype train? Maybe I should do conspiracy videos more often, huh? Crom, holy hell, it's, this is still, I should do conspiracy videos more often. Two months of the golden table, thank you for your Twitch Prime. Much appreciated. Okay. So I think what we should do is we should, like, theorycraft, like... We should figure out... So, like, if we also look at, like, what is that one card? So, like, the problem with this as well, though, is it feels like Michael McGlenn should be able to take the Chicago typewriter, right? Because, like, if we look at what a dual class investigator is, oh my god, five gift subs? Thank you, Lord Blink, thank you, thank you. Make sure to thank Lord Blink if you received one, say thank you. It's all, it's very, it's polite. So, here's my question to everyone watching at home. What do you think a multi-class investigator looks like? Do you think it's like 0303? So they don't get the good stuff, but they get like a variety of stuff? Or do you think it could be something else? Has to be at least 0303. Because, like, the, the worry of a multi-class investigator, which, again, we're just hypothesizing. Maybe it's like a slider. That's interesting. 5, 1, 4, 2, 3, 3. You know, that slider idea is really interesting. Old school Arkham 2 sliders. Yeah, it really kind of is. All right. So we have 0303, which I think is fair. We have like 5, 05 pick one, 03 pick other. I think like five of a color in multi-class is maybe too strong unless it was the slider of 5-1. I don't know how, how, yeah, that's the question. Like, how wordy would it be, right? DJG, 34 months of the Golden Table, your Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. We're about to beat our last record. I don't expect you guys to, but if you did, I'd be pretty happy. All right. Deck building options. Where's, like, one where you have to choose before? Let's look at the wording on Mandy. Because we're going, we're going deep with this, if this is true. That's the taboo version. Give me the regular version. All right, deck building options. Deck size. So, deck creation, choose 30, 40, or 50. Secondary class choice. Give me just like a good old, like our good friend, Bill Yorick. Yeah, we are still missing one. We're missing one survivor. The survivor who can't do one of them. I don't know which one. It might be Rogue. No, it's Carson Anku Rogue. Is it... Is it... No, it's... Is it Guardian? No, they're missing Seeker. Okay, they're missing Seeker. I mean, in theory, couldn't they do this as well? Like, they could just do, like, a Mystic that can choose... Seeker, Rogue, or Survivor. Like, they also could just do that, right? There's no reason why they can't also touch into, um... The deck creation thing here, right? They could just keep doing more of that, too. Yeah, I mean, it would be wordy. 
Yeah, and they still have Edge of the Earth too. Where's Waldrop? Thank you so much for the the uh, the subscription. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, look at that. We're so close. That's crazy. Yeah, and they still have Edge of the Earth to repeat too. But going back to this quote, ignore the Deep One Baby, which is kind of like a kappa. It's like a naughty kappa. It's a little bit naughty here, but. Again, this video is just for fun. I, I, I don't know if this is right. It'd be cool if it was, but I'm just like, you know. It's a Friday. It's almost the weekend. It's chill, you know. Thank you for the bits. It's chill. We're just hanging out. Okay. Um, yeah, it is kind of like a naughty frog. Uh, so I think the slider idea is the coolest. I'm curious to see how they would word it if the, is the point. But yeah, no, it's definitely, I think we all agree, is at least 0303. But I feel like Michael McGlenn should be able to play the Chicago typewriter, right? But I am curious, like, what if it is, like, 0303 is, um... 0303 and then, like, traits up to 5, like a certain trait. And it's like an and like a asset trait. Like, for example... I was gonna say something on this, but it does it only has item in a list. It does black mail have anything? Yeah, the problem is like I know George Barnaby is a lawyer, but he's never like he's never been like a bad lawyer, you know? Bark Harrigan deck building. Okay, let's look at Bark. He's not in here. No Bark. All right, let's let's check out Bark. Oh no, Bark! You're you're ruining everything. With George Barnaby's Arkham 2 story, is him becoming a vigilante, so it's like one step over being a bad lawyer. Vigilante is not, like, illicit. Like, it is. It's against the rules, but I, I don't, like... To me, illicit is committing a crime, right? It, it's got to be committing a crime. It's not just, like, you know... I know vigilanteism is a crime, but, like, it's... Do we have any of the vigilantes on? All right. Guardian cards 0 to 5, neutral cards, weapon cards level 0, but it's like weapon cards to 5? I'm curious, right? Hmm. Because, like, yeah, the thing is, like, I mean, but George Barnaby is going to be able to play this, but it feels wrong for him to do an illicit, but at the same time, um... It's, it's one of those things that I think that it's it's pretty easy to um, change, like, the feeling for characters in a way with Arkham Horror the card game does, because I, I feel like they're, um, like, for example, before this, I never would have thought that Joe Diamond would have a hunch deck, but, it, like, it fits so perfectly, and that might be why Arkham Horror the card game is the best version of Arkham, because it expands these characters in ways that none of the other ones can. Okay, so let's also get out a mystic button here. Yeah, yeah. It, I agree, like Carson, a lot of people were like survivor and like he works really all, well as a guardian, right? Could George be Seeker 5, Rogo 2? Trace, I'm sorry, you are late. That was something we talked about, but we're in a new world. I'll, I'll get you caught up. I think that these are uh, multi-class investigators. Uh, I think that they are multi-class. So I think we're going to have uh, 
two investigators of each class except for three mystics with Gloria being the odd one out. All right. So now we're trying to like hy uh, hypothesize who our other uh, seekers could be. What would their card frame look like? Gold with like two icons. If multi-class presumes it's cyclical. Yeah, that does make sense. That does make sense. But then like, who's the top of the circle? <laughs> So then we like we obviously don't have All right, I'm I'm doing this cyclical thing, but I'm trying to figure out like where it all cuz with Magic the Gathering it's easy, right? Cuz we have white, blue, black, red, green. And I guess in in um in Arkham, just by the nature of how they label their cards, it's Guardian, Seeker, Rogue, Mystic, Survivor, right? And that's just like by the nature of how they they do their things. So the mad the back of the magic cards look like this. That's what the back of the Arkham magic card looks like. Wow. So if we do this, why don't we assume we're going in a triangle, right? So we're going to have a mystic seeker and a mystic guardian. Okay, let's do that. And I'll be honest with all you guys. I'll be honest with everyone at home. I think she, it's her. So this is a new character designed by Nick, I believe. A new creation. Yeah, confirmed new. This is a new creation. So this one, when I saw this, it felt guardian to me. I don't know why, she seems very determined, you know? But once again, we're going off very little so, like, all of this could be completely fucking wrong, right? We're not here, we're not sitting here pretending that this is, any of this is true. Alright. People were saying some of the One Guardian fight. Yeah, they were, but that is confirmed to be not the case. Yeah, we're going off vibes here today. Okay. So my thought then is that this guy fits Seeker Survivor. He could be Rogue Survivor, but he looks a lot like Preston, right? Like this guy could be like this. Once again, this is just following like this, like magic the gathering thing which we're just kind of like pulling out of our ass right no survivor main there's no mains there's no mains that's that's the thing right that's they're 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 multi-class there are no main class investigators in this box is this theory right Okay. Can't get two of each if there's five. Okay, okay. So then maybe this is incorrect, Amundo. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, we'll find out. Uh, so we have the rogue. We have a rogue guardian. And, oh no, I think it works, doesn't it? Yeah, you can totally get two of them with each. And then we have a, um, the survivor rogue. We have like this. Is this crazy? 
something like that. It's like one of these two, right? That seems weird. So like maybe my theory of like where these guys live is wrong, but like, honestly, I could see George as, sorry, I did this twice. <laughs> All right, the important question, does this give us two of each class? It does give us two of each class, right? Justin, if this multi-class color thing does happen, then we still do not get Secret 5 Rogue. It's true, and that's okay, because there's going to be more expansions, and we'll get it one day. I also think, Ro I mean, I think George is going to have Rogue for sure, no matter what, because I think he has to play Blackmail File, right? How many remaining uh, known deck building do we have? So we have like the Finn and Marie style. The 5-2. The Carson, like the, the, the Carson one. Is that it? I think only those three. Still trying to grasp multi-class investigator seems like a huge stretch can i ask why because at the same time like i think all like i'm not saying you're wrong but like all deck building at some point was potentially a huge stretch right i think anything beyond um i think anything beyond 0502 because it was the first one seems like a huge stretch like could you imagine if today like say dunwich didn't exist and i was like mono class but you get five level zero cards from anything people would be like that's so restrictive you know you know like that's kind of like how I, I look at it right like to me to say something can happen is like the antithesis of what design is so that's what a thing right I think it's just that Gloria is a sore thumb, if that's the case. I agree, but that's why I'm looking at this, right? And you believe me if I said there were three Mystic Investigators, right? Like, and that's why I, because if I'm taking this at face value, this is the only way for there to be three Mystic Investigators. That's how I look at it anyway. And again, I could be wrong, right? But that's like my thesis for this. That she is a sore thumb because she is, right? She's just there. I think they've tried to, like, maybe, like, this is, again, I don't know, I'm pulling back the curtain. They were, like, maybe, um, uh, they were, like, we try, we can't, let's just throw her out there, right? Yeah, you know, she's just, like, I have to be here, we have to release her eventually. You have New Lady as Guardian with Ritual Aztec, and many of those are Mystics. That That's the thing, right? Like, and this is, I mean, like, again, I could be completely wrong. There is no neutral one in this box. They've confirmed there is no neutral investigator. I don't have a screenshot of that, though. There is no neutral investigator in this box. And we're just a crazy person. So this guy also could be this, I think. This guy also could be this class, I think. I don't think there's a rogue seeker. Yeah, it's harder to say when we don't know the professions of this. Like we're going basically on what we have and we're doing this mostly for fun as we wait for new content. No neutral, you guys will look so silly in nine months time. Um, didn't, Duke said it. He said there was no neutral. <laughs> I'm going to wager it was, like, right before this message. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. That's what I've heard. You know what? I'll look. See if I can find it out. I'll actually confirm rather than just talking out my ass. All 
All right. Let me search neutral. Yeah, Duke said two things, no neutral and three mystics. Yeah. So that's why, like going off all of this and just seeing what, like what I can put together with this and just what my, what's, what this could be. I'm not putting any, like, I'm not putting any of my, my ability to, like, I'm not putting any stakes down on this. I'm not, like, putting any skin in the game. This is just theory crafting. The new ones look like Kaimani and Kelvin. I think that, um, I, th I mean, in all fairness, this new one looks like uh, Norman Withers, right? People look the same, <laughs> right? Um, they, people look the same. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. I'm I the Fustel, I actually really like this. So she's blue red. I don't want another blue red. I do like this, but I like the colors you have here. Blue, red, red, purple is very interesting to me. Michael is gr uh, red, blue. George is yellow, green, which I can also see. And I get yellow, yellow, purple. I think those are all fair predictions too. So, um, yeah. I'm very curious to see. Like, I, I hope that, did they do the thing that um, Beard joked about that they would release the article? In the meantime, <laughs> no, of course not, because new articles come out on Thursdays. I think they can repeat deck building for ones that have a lot of limitations. I'll, I'm going to double down on that. I think they can just repeat deck building. I think that investigators' abilities uh, dictate deck building a lot more than generally people give them credit for. We're saying that these are multi-class cards, yes. We're saying that the investigators are multi-class. We are. I do like it. Anytime someone comes in and they're like, wait a minute, I get to like show them my string map thing. And I'm like the Charlie Day thing. You literally had that thought too. Honestly, if Super Fang had the thought, I, I give a lot. I'll put some skin in the game now. If Super Fang had it, I honestly am suddenly my confidence has tripled. <laughs> it just feels right. You know, it just it feels right to me just because of this. I would never have thought this unless I saw this message, right? Like if this this message made me like really think this. Do you think they're multi-class, but the deck building is like Charlie Zero Three for their two classes? Yeah, so people we've we've had some people theorize of what it could be. Um it could be like zero three uh with a trait that goes up to five, or like it doesn't go up to five, or it's like a sliding scale of like five one. Four two three three. Uh, I think there will be some sort of restriction on it if it is just like there has to be something for it. Super Fang, two months of the Golden Table. Well, thirty-one months. You're on a two-month streak. Thirty-one months of the Golden Table with the Trich Prime. Thank you for the the Bezos bucks. Uh, I think there needs to be like some sort of thing to keep it in check. And I also think I imagine they're just going to be gold, but I would love for them to be uh, like the hybrid cards in MTG. Because the hybrid cards in MTG look so freaking sexy. Hey, they just look really good. <sighs> so as, as I said, when they did the in-flight report, um, obviously it's great that we got information, but we don't realize how lucky we were last year when they announced Hemlock and we got an announcement article on the exact same day. <laughs> That was that was like Christmas, wasn't it? Like hearing about Drown City, seeing the box art was per, like was was really cool. But man, getting an announcement article on the same day was spicy. Oh, interesting. 
Zero three classes for individuals, zero five for cards that are both. And it's a multi-class box? Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Zero three kind of sucks for fighters. I, I agree, like, generally, and also because I feel like... Um, uh, I'm going to get the card again. I feel like Michael McGlenn needs to be able to play Chicago typewriter. So I think that's like some evidence against my point, potentially. Not if you know your theory, but Duke's no neutral comment reads a little sarcastic to me. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so does this, right? But we're going on with, we're, we're taking that, we're taking it on good faith that um, the designer wouldn't want to troll and would rather drip feed cryptic information, right? That's like, we're taking it on face value. Because I don't, I don't know why, I mean, like, he could, but I don't know why. He, I think, like, in choosing between either, like, lying and being sarcastic or just, like, being funky and, like, being a little bit tricksy about it, I think, like, that's kind of thing. But again, he could just be trolling. I saw, yeah, that, that could be part of it. I don't think he needs the typewriter. I think he wants... Yeah, it's like he just needs a Tommy gun, right? He needs a Tommy gun. And this is like one of our Tommy guns that we have. There is, what is the... Thompson? No, not you. Because this could work, right? It's not the same, but... It does conveniently go to level 3. The track record of Truths and Duke's cryptic messages is 100% if you go back and read his messages about Hemlock. They release a downgrade for the type downgrade for the typewriter? Oh, that'd be fun. Honestly, I think um I think the uh, Defustel, you're um you're cooking. The 03 classes for his individual, 05 for cards that are both is really spicy. I'm just curious. Because I know there's like Janae, but she's level three. What are our level fives? We have like a um, Michael Lee. We have Precious Memento. We have Quick Draw Holster. Tommy got. Uh, Michael would like Quick Draw Holster probably. And eh, no, I think he's going to be two handed focused, but he's still going to be guns. Blur, which we don't have in our breakdown here. But I mean, I think so. Okay, here's my other thing. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, chat. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, so something I said a while ago. <laughs> After we saw the multi-class cards, I said, expect curse and bless tokens to come back again soon. Multi-class came out in Circle Undone. <laughs> okay. Multi-class came out in Circle Undone. Two expansions later, we got Bless and Curse tokens. Oh, dude, we're going crazy fucking strings right now. Edge of the Earth came out after, um, after Innsmouth, where we had our multi-class cards. Two expansions later, we got Bless and Curse token again. After that, maybe we go back to multi-class cards. I think multi-class cards are dangerous because, again, uh, this is something that Travis says. They don't... I, I think a lot of times multi-class cards don't live in the right thing, you know? Uh, like, they don't, like they, 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 they don't feel like a two-color card. It's something that happens in Magic a lot, too. Multi-class cards are very... Like, these are, like, hybrid cards. They're tough to hit, but... After that, we go to customizable. Probably, I could see us returning to customizable again, too. It would work if there was an expansion between Hemlock and this. No, didn't. So, Innsmouth, after Innsmouth was Edge of the Earth. So, that was Bless and Curse into Multiclass. We just had Bless and Curse. So, don't we have Multiclass again? Following this, uh, this conspiracy pattern that we just cooked up for no fucking reason? 
just to be a conspiracy theorist. I mean, honestly, I would love more payoff to synergy as well, right? More payoff to synergy would be a great time. Synergy is a really fun uh, archetype that is missing like one or two key pieces to be really good. I think the weird thing is, yeah, the MTG equivalent of Arkham is multi is hybrid cards, which are harder to design for. If Arkham could somehow come up with an equivalent, the actual gold cards of Magic would become much more interesting. I agree. But yeah, the, the hybrid cards are harder to design for. Do you see the 5 one, one, one Survivor happening this time? I also think you're going to buy the assumption that it's going to be a complete cycle. That is true. We're going by the assumption that it's going to be like Edge of the Earth. And I did I did acknowledge that earlier by saying that we haven't had a full cycle in a while. But again, I think that's uh, what Astu pointed out to Gloria kind of sticking out like a sore thumb could also be an issue, right? Um, that could also just be a problem. But yeah, like, they could also... I mean, like, the thing about Arkham is it's not really been about completing cycles within a box so we could just have like four different like five different deck building things right and that's why i think gloria is yeah that's why i think she's just the extra and i think we are getting a cycle again going on this cryptic ass hint i love coming up with baseless conspiracy theories but i'm pretty honestly like i said once super fan came in and said he was thinking the same thing i'm taking this to the moon I'm taking this to the moon. But I would like to see Synergy expanded on. I think Synergy is really cool. Is there any talk when this might release? Yeah, so it's probably going to release in um, early 2025. Whenever, if you look at when Hemlock released, it'll probably release at a similar time. Well, I think that's, I think we've exhausted the conspiracy well, right? I think we made pretty good and we can do something else. Consider this, if they do another synergy, it would low-key kind of suck that there's no neutral. I'm curious about what you mean by that. Because we do kind of have a neutral investigator that can play with synergy already. I don't think we would need another one. I think Synergy is better when it's in Colored Investigators, right? Can we please rearrange the MTG card back circle at the bottom according to our character classes? What do you mean? It's perfect. Guardian, Seeker, Rogue, Mystic, Survivor. This will be your first new expansion? That's super exciting. I'll never forget my first magic expansion that came out when I when I started following it. It was the greatest thing in the world. I like Arkham, honestly. Like I think the one year release schedule is now um, pretty good. Um, so it's, it's like one of those things. I feel like I'd make the cycle more complete that a neutral the synergy package. But I mean, like, what would the neutral do that the new neutrals don't already do? I guess is my question. That the old neutrals don't do. Because, like, the thing about Synergy is that it's better when you have, uh, like, some stuff baked into your Investigator or, like, permanence, isn't it? We have the Guardian Mystic, and those are not close to each other in the circle. None of them are close to each other in the circle. Did you not see how this was done? None of them are close to each other. They're all there. Oh, no. No, they are. None of them are close to each other. We're doing the um, wedges, so it's like this. It's like going across. Like it's shooting the gun across, right? Like none of these are close to each other in the circle, right? Yeah, the enemy pairs. Have you played Midwinter? I have not, no. Otherwise known as the cons of Tarkir format. The best... Maybe that's why I did this. 
Maybe I just want to play Konza Tark here again. Maybe I just want it to be 2014 again. Maybe I just want to be 25 again. What the fuck? Am I having a breakdown? I thought George was yellow green. He, he... No, there actually is no yellow green. According to this theory. According to this. But I mean, I think George has always felt more guardian to me. He has the potential to be, but not with this theory. Honestly, let's do Tri-Class Investigators. Just give me Kanza Turk here. Place a face down 2-2 two, two for 3. Oh my god. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's, it's like, it's like, it's like, just... You're pouring honey in my ear. Yeah, I want Morph. I want Morph, okay? I love Morph. I was bitching on stream last night about how the new disguise mechanic is stupid. I hate it. It's not Morph. What about Megamorph? Sign me up. I remember how much, like, they were, like, hyping up. We found this new Morph equivalent, and it was like we were taking Morph to the next level, and everyone was, like, theorizing what the hell could it be, and then it was, like, Morph with a plus one, plus one counter, and we fucking called him Megamorph, and everyone was like, really? Why don't you like Disguise? It's just Morph again? Yeah, it's Morph, but, like, powered up. And it just reminds me the power creep that Magic has had in the last, like, five years. Or whenever Eldrain came out, and it's just disgusting. Magic, there's too many words on the cards on Magic cards now. There's just too many words. Get me back to the day of Siege Rhino. Keywords, Lightning Helix when he enters play. Just give me that shit. Oh, those were the days. What's the synergy archetype? Uh, it's this. So, like, uh, this is an example of it of one of the payoff cards. Uh, one at a time, in any order. If you control a, gar a rogue card, you may move. Guardian card, do this. So many words, they've started to get rid of words to streamline things. Don't get me started. I was, I was complaining about that, too, last night. Not a good time. Okay, I'm going to end this video here. I don't know if this video is going to make it to YouTube. Um, strength in numbers is an example. It becomes a more... Uh, the more uh, classes you have, the more wild icons it gets. That's a good example of one. I don't know if this is going to make it to YouTube. Um, this might just be a little secret that we have. It's really going to depend on how long it takes for the announcement article to come out. Um, so maybe hi, YouTube. I had a lot of fun doing this, though. Uh, again, I'm not... Sometimes it frustrates me. People post what I say as, like, gospel in places. Um, when it's just, like, my theory. So, you know. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one, as always. GG's.